Hey everyone, so today College Board is releasing the AP scores for the 2020 exams. So obviously we took these exams at home, so they were a little unorthodox, um, but despite that I think I had a really good turnout. Um, so I'm really excited to see my scores. Uh, before we get started, I want to announce that I am attending uh, Dowling College in the fall. Um, so I'm really pumped to send these scores to them. So without the, let's get let's just get started. I'm so excited. Let's just get this started. So the first one I think is um, comparative government. Um, so I think I got either a four or a five on this one. I did self study this one, so it, it could be a three, but I don't really see that happening. So uh, four or five is my guess here. So let's see. Uh, 2020 comparative government. I got a okay. I'm kind of wondering if that's a mistake. A one. A one on comparative. No, see, I, I, so I don't know if you're allowed to have the textbook open in front while you were taking it. Is that like, because I heard some people did, I didn't do that. So that's maybe why I got the one and everyone else did that. Like, and I know as you're ranked against your peers or something. Um, that's cool though. Uh, that's cool. I think um, English Lang is next. Um, I, I, I did really well on this. I studied Frankenstein for pff, you know, two to three hours. So if I don't get a, you know, f at least a four, I'm, you know, okay. English language composition, a one. You, I can't even explain to you how many times I, I read Frankenstein. I don't know how that's a one. <laughs> okay. Next is human geography. Literally, this one I took in class, I ended the class with like a 75 average. So like, what does that translate to? Like a four or five or something. So let's just see. Human geography is a, it's a one. Okay. I can't let Dowling see this video. <laughs> like, put yourself in my shoes for a second. I just got three ones when I thought I was going to get three fives. Okay, um, the next one, I don't know which one is next, but I probably probably got a one on, and yeah, st statistics, I got a one on. To, to be fair, I still don't know what chi-squared means, so I'm not really too surprised at the, the statistics. Um, but wow. Um, okay, this last one uh, has to be uh, U.S. Gov, Gov and Politics. Um, <clears throat> this is my favorite course throughout the semester. Um, I studied really hard for this, and I'd be surprised if I got under a four. I mean, I just don't know how it could happen, but I don't know how these last results could happen. So, and at the end, I'm gonna compare my expected scores to the actual scores, so we're in for some fun, I guess. Um, so final score of Gov is a, it's a one. I got a one on Gov. I don't, I don't know how that's a one on Gov. I studied Marbury versus Madison. Did you really need to know anything more than that? Like, they make it so ridiculous. It's just, okay. So I, this is so embarrassing. I, I prepared scores. I like expected my scores. So for Gov, I had a four expected. Um, for English, a four. Human geography, five. Statistics, three. And Gov, a five. So what does that add to? I think that adds to like, like 22. So 22 is my expected, five was my actual. So I was 17 points off and we'll see if I go to college in the fall.